I finished Space Marine 2. Let's talk about this. I will split this video into three sections. First of all, we will be talking about campaign, second of all, operations, and last but not least, eternal war. So, start from the campaign. That's where everybody kind of starting, so let's go jump from there. I started as on the hardest difficulty possible and I dive run right into the action. What amazed me right right from the scratch was the visuals and also the the, the spectacle of everything. Like the, the the sheer battlefields and the the every monument that you can see in the game is just great. The attention to details, every single hole, just just everything around you feels really really good and you are immersed right into the world so that's a really great like point for this game it just looks phenomenal another thing that I really enjoyed was that it is continuation of the story of Space Marine 1 which was like really anticipated sequel right the second one was really anticipated sequel of the first one because it was well it was well received and I feel that they delivered on uh, on this part that, that it we are following the story of the Titus. It's just 100 years kind of in the, down in the line, right? But still, we are following this guy. And I feel that they kind of really make this not special, but they had it like their ways to talk between the NPCs. And yeah, the story was kind of interesting, I would say. It's not done. I think that you will continue with the story. So that's 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 cool part also. What I really like about was amazed by, I would say even, was the operations. I'm not skipping to operations, I will talk to them, I will talk about them later. But what I want to talk right now about is that when you're following the story of the Titus, there is an operation, right? You you have the, your briefing and you have to go for the mission, right? And, and they will tell you like, yeah, you have to kill this or do that. And you're like, yeah, but for this to happen, we need more Marines to do different job for us to succeed. And they are like, okay, I can spare three men. And you're like, all right. And that's that's a beautiful thing because they are they are saying that you are seeing the group of other space marines going to the second plane and going somewhere and that's the operation mode that should be the the one that you will be playing afterwards that you finish the campaign and you have it intermingled inside the campaign already so you are like going for the mission and you're like oh okay so they are going for this operation that's kind of interesting i would love to see how how they point of view is for us to succeed in the mission they have to do their job so that's a kind of great like bridge between those two modes and I really love what devs, devs done with this approach because it just makes sense and it got you hooked for for a second ride because you want to experience the other point of view so so that was a brilliant thing to do I feel what I was lacking in the in the in the campaign was two things. I just hated the linearity of the game because, for example, I, I will release the way um, video on Wukong really soon. But both games are really linear, right? But this one feels just I don't know. The secondary paths are not existent, like not at all. There is nothing to explore. You will find, for example, gun. But you already have the gun and if you like the gun that you have you don't have particularly like nothing to worry about right you will never find like better piece of equipment kind of at least that, that felt for that felt like and what i didn't like also on the linearity is the point that you still like there is always a ping before you it's like six feet like six steps before you there is always reach here you will reach it and also reach here, reach here. That is, that is so obnoxious that, that I felt like half of the time so pissed at this marker because I feel like I couldn't figure it out. Why would you do that? I feel it's just messing with your intelligence. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. There was like... <laughs> There was like point that reach here, right? And there is a blockade in the in the path. And you reach the point and exactly at the point will spawn different this indicator and it's interact with this object. And I'm like, why could you like make the, the point right there? Like interact, right? And I could see the thing 
like way, way, way before. I'm like, okay, I need to go that way. All right, I got it. I don't have to be pinged every single meter to feel that I know where you, where I am going. Especially when there is there is a button for it. It's a tabulator, right? Tab, and when you click it, they will like show you the compass where to run. So why not to give it only to this position? And when you feel lost on the linear path, you'll be like, okay, wait, 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 I'm lost. Let's give me echo where I need to run. You click the button and you will be, oh, it's this way. All right, let's go. But no, so th this felt really like bad. I don't, I don't know if anyone agrees or disagrees. Uh, am I feeling it too much? But I felt so bad. Always had this pointer before me. It's just immersion breaking. I was in the thing, right? I was the space marine. I was walking around, slashing enemies to pieces. That was the br like that was the greatest thing. Like another spectacle that I was talking about before with the with the environment that you are really crushing those aliens it feels so good right when he jump at you you will just catch him and just crush his skull right that's just oh my god i feel i am the space marine right here but with the pointer before me i was like hey hey what you doing this is this is bad i don't like that but yeah so as i saying right now the the combat the combat felt like really good at the times, right? Because you have that chunky thing that you're slashing through the Tyranids and uh, you are just catching them, right? When there was a big guy and you uh, made that counter, it just felt good, right? But sometimes, not so. Because there's the two ways that I'm looking at it, right? There is a lore perspective and there is the gameplay perspective. The lore-wise, I understand that your guy in the like several ton armor, I don't know how much that thing weights, but I feel that that will be really, really heavy. You can't really be agile as a Wukong or something like that. You are just jumping around the battlefield and you will just feel, you know, weightless. So I, I understand that they can't go with this, but sometimes it feels clunky. It feels like you hit the button and it have not happened. And it's just, I don't know, some of the times I feel like, hey, this is, this is not feel right. I would rather go for a little bit of more gameplay like style of the thing that you know that I will feel more rewarded for for the gameplay than lore wise that I'm moving like that what I enjoy on the other way that I have to contradict it a little bit was that when you play the tutorial right you was like the space marine and when you finish the tutorial there's a little bit of spoiler they will like make you better right they will make you space marine 2.0 and then transition the transition between those states was incredible. In the tutorial, I was like, yeah, this is sluggish. I move so slow. This is just not well. But I was cu custom like accommodating all the other systems and spectacles. So I was okay with the, the with that thing, right? But after the tutorial, you are upgraded and you move fast. You dodge, it's better. And it felt really good. And I was like, yeah, I would go a little bit further than that. But that's just maybe, my, maybe me. But so the close range combat, that went well. I, I feel that was really nice. The long range combat, not so. I felt sometimes that the, the, the enemies were like sponges, right? That was the, like the medium sized alien. And just I went for the bolter gun, the big one, right? And just there's a, like one magazine to this hat and nothing happened, right? And I felt like, yeah. This is, this not feels good, but maybe it was because I was playing on the hardest difficulty, so I tend to, tended to go for the melee combat quite more than I sh like go for the, for the ranged, because it just felt much better to, to play as a close range marine, because the ran long range doesn't, have not felt the same way, I would say. Yeah, but overall, the, the, the campaign, was nice, like it was great, but I was missing progression. Well, that there was not many things that you you would progress, but the the campaign was really short, so it, maybe it have not been then you know that uh, that necessary to put it put progression there, because you have not found anything on the side paths and uh, nothing like that, right? There was the only pro like before the between the missions you can just set up your loadout. 
take for example this gun or that gun but you would find the guns on the battlefield as well so it was just kind of like pointless and yeah and if you pick the guns that you liked you have never switched the gun in the middle of the mission because why would you do that so that was kind of the the progression was kind of like lacking in my opinion in the campaign i would rather go for something in between this and the operations and i will talk about that a little bit later but the length of the game is like, I, I played through it in 15 hours. 15 hours took me to, to beat the game, beat the whole campaign on the hardest difficulty. So I can imagine on the normal difficulty, on the veteran, it would be even quicker. But I have to say, it was an experience. The, the spectacle of the things that were happening around were good. Like, I think it's enjoyable enough to go through that. I don't know if it's worth the 80 bucks or how much it was for, for the early. I would say no. But the 60, I would say, yeah, maybe with the, with the other content they will add over the year, I feel it will be worthy, especially with the other modes. One more thing that I want to say for the campaign. <laughs> I was scavenging for the mad packs. I don't know what happened in the universe. Nobody got steams or what's, what, what is happening. But I was constantly looking for things to heal me. Because the armor, like the, you have the HP, because th those are really kind of hard to replenish. And then you have the armor points that you have to like slay enemies with, uh, with the sick moves, right? When you shoot them or, or catch them in a time thing. You, you block them at the right moment and you will replenish your armor. That felt really good. But the replenishment HP was tragedy. I, I have not enjoyed I would rather go for something like Doom that you have different things that you, you go and one replenish your armor and second one replenish your HP. And I have not felt that in any way and the mad packs were not there just you have scavenged the whole area you couldn't find mad packs it was just bad and what <laughs> what was the most funniest things ever like in the in the like latest mission right the, the i think a second from uh, from the end or or maybe the last mission even they were like yeah we have to do this this is it right this, this is the this is the thing that we need to uh, like overcome it's just tremendously uh, incredibly i don't know important to do this they will throw you on the planet and they will not give you med packs they will not give you the stims why <laughs> i have no two stims because that's the maximum you can carry why not you give me the stim packs on before the mission like what what is that do i need to scavenge for it to heal myself as a space marine as a someone that you need you kind of, you know, depends on that save the situation. I don't know. I just didn't catch that one. Why? But yeah, for the second thing, operations. Operations, as I said before, are connected to the campaign. Those are the missions from other perspective, other space marines than those. And you have six missions that you can go for on the several difficulties. And what I really enjoy when I switch to the operations was immediately that I can pick a class. And there are like six different classes. There is sniper that is like using stealth and sniper rifle. You would not say it, right? There is a vanguard and have the jetpack and you can charge enemies. There is a bulwark, my favorite, that you got the shield and the sword. And also you can plant the standard, right? The banner and it will heal the armor of your comrades. And there is those, those classes that took me like, oh, this is sweet, I like that. And also, on top of that, you have progression of the weapons and, and, and skills that you're using. And that feels like great. I, I really enjoyed that. Okay, you are going for this operation, you're getting XP and you're leveling up your class. And that class can use the different weapons and, and, and stuff. And those leveling as well. And you are getting better and better weapons for the, the hardest, harder difficulties. So, and that felt really good. And I was like, why have not used this for the campaign a little bit? I feel like it was... It would be such a great like transition between those those um, two modes because when you when you transition to this uh, Space Marine 2.0 in the campaign, there was a, like nicely like, that was a situation they could like handle right. The the transition was like not immediately successful, and you need to regain your kind of like the skills right. And you will be getting those levels or, or something to, and that would not be like levels, but you would get used to 
to transformation to the Space Marine 2. And I feel that would the, the progression through the campaign would felt much better than it was. And it was nice because it was quick, it was just few missions and you just went through it. It would be even better. More things about operations are customization. There is a lot of things that you can change upon your character. You can change colors, you can change different kind, like armor set, armor pieces. So you can really uh, delve into fantasy you like. For example, you will go for red space marine, so you will be the blood raven, or you will go all blue and you will stay as ultramarine that is Titus, right? Or you will get yourself your own color set to feel your own, like, you know, sauce in, in the space. <laughs> but it's kind of nice that you can customize all these things but there is still a way for improvement there is still more things that you you could go for because i feel that the universe of warhammer is so vast and so huge that the devs just couldn't put everything inside it so i hope they will enrich this because there is a lot of people i think that would go for even beyond that. They would go and, for example, what I saw that was like a thing when you have when you're playing the bulwark and you can plug the standarta into the ground. It would be nice if you could customize the standarta, right? Because you would be like, yeah, this is this is the flag, right? This is my flag. This is and you will you will give it to the ground and it's just it's just great moment. So hopefully they will add those things to enrich the customization even more. So and now we are getting to the things that I have not enjoyed that much. First of all, the missions, right? The missions. Like, they are great, right? This is a story mission, it's like campaign, you will get through it, it's like 30 minutes each, you will finish this and you will get back, you will get your, your XP and you're leveling up your class. What I don't like is that it's that it's like repeated there is no uh, spontaneous interactions within the uh, within the thing you always get ambushed on the same places you will all always have the same things going on and it's just it haven't felt that good there is one point of of interaction that i really enjoyed and that was like you found a secondary thing that you could pick up and if you extract with the thing you would get extra xp that's nice i love that and i think they use this from dark tide right warhammer 40k dark tide that was uh, coming out like two years ago something like that the co-op first per person like shoot it from from the same universe and then, then you have those co-op missions and uh, you have more things uh, to pick up and in interact with. Now, recently I returned back to it and I found out that they added like stims, right? That you have different kind of like stims that you can, you know, use inside the mission. I would love for Space Marine to, to add those things, add more, add events, something will drop randomly. You will have to f protect it for like 15, 20 seconds, they just pouring onto you and you have to continue. Those interactions or there is, I don't know, you will meet a group of Marines, they are trapped in the in the room and you have to like withstand the attack. I don't know, just just those, inter those uh, random things that will just make it better right find this that you need to extract with to get more materials go there go do this because when you are not doing this when you are not have those random interactions what is happening is that you're going for the mission and because you played it like several times you played it like 10 times you already know what is happening around along the way you have the 30 minutes in your head before you even drop and it's starting to be boring because you are like looking forward to what it will be there and how long you do, that it will take you before the man mission ends and it's just not great. I feel that this is like something that you should pour more into it. Like ma make this and I feel it will feel better. Other thing that devs need to settle, like they need to figure it out is that you are not una you are unable to play with other players with same class. And that's just so bad. It feels so good on the paper that yeah, that's the fantasy, right? We don't want to have team full of bulwarks because it doesn't make sense. You have the you want to have the variety, right? That feels good, but 
the, the, the literal thing is really like problematic and it's just frustrating because I understand there is a balancing issues because you have a team perks and if all three classes would be the same the team perk would be just OP and maybe if you would not have those two perks like the others you would feel underwhelming I don't know but it just feels so bad when you, when you pick the build war. Uh, start from the beginning right you will choose the operation you, you interact with the console and you are like, all right, I want to play this mission. Then you will select the class, right? You will select the class you want to play. There is finding a match. It will find the match. It will teleport you to the match, right? You will show up on the same place on the different server kind of. And, <laughs> and then three of the guys stand in between each other and all of us have the same class it happened right i stand there and there are three like three of us all bulwarks and we just staring contest like who will be the one that will leave or change the class and it just not feel good so you are like okay i i join last they are already two here and i will leave so you will leave there is a loading screen you will return back then you interact what the hell is going on if you will survive the staring contest, it does not feel good for the people that will change the class for you because you decided at the beginning that you want to play this and not change in the middle. Feels bad. Just feels bad. Please change it. And like, it's easy, right? I would, I understand those, those arguments of the balancing. I know that there are people that would love to jump in just, just the three bulwarks or three snipers i don't know but make it like you will pick the operation you will pick your class and it will find people that don't have the same class smart right smart that's just easiest solution ever because the the th worst thing that will happen is that you will get to the match you will select the hardest difficulty for example i will i will go for extreme i will go for the hardest difficulty and there is one guy Oh, okay. No, no, the hardest, the, uh, the second one, just the second one that is recommended for level five to 10, right? You are level five. You are playing bulwark. You, you, you liked it. You, you just playing it and you will port to the, to the party, right? A staring contest begin. And you are like, yeah, you know what? I will, I understand. I will change my class and <laughs> you will change class into something that you don't have leveled up. What now? What now? So now you're putting down your teammates because you don't have level up class and you are not prepared for the action. I just feel that's that's dumb. Let's select my class and operation and find me a group where nobody will go against those, you know, those those restrictions. I will just find two other classes. I'm fine with that. I feel that that will solve 95 or 99 percent of the complaints. Like, there is only small amount of people that will be like, yeah, I want to play all bulwarks or all snipers. I don't feel that's a majority. Majority is, I want to join the mission, I want to run and slay enemies because that's fun. Okay, so let's jump right into that and do that, please. So, and last but not least, let's talk about the Eternal War. Eternal War, I was amazed by. I was like, yeah, I have a few minutes or, or you know, let's try the mode. Let's try the PvP. I'm not here for the PvP, but let's try it. I was amazed. I was jumping into that, that's six versus six. You'll jump, there are several like modes that you can play. And there is a death match. There is, for example, you have to hold the circle or, or area on the map against the team. And it just feels good. It's just, the uh, only thing that is not feel good is impact of the bullets. But that's that's the thing that I was talking before. It's just not impactful enough. Um, I was, I, as I saw also before, I returned back to the Dark Tide, right? To play a little bit of, of that because I have not played for, for a while and I wanted to see the changes. And just the shooting the enemies and the clicking of the things when you pop their hat, like it's just have the different feedback it just feels good and I would love them to translate these these things into this because when you for example hitting the space marine into helmet it should have different feedback especially for the sniper right you want to hit those hats and you want to have that feedback that will be satisfying and just just that would be really really great but overall I really enjoyed the mode it's just snappy you have to stick to the group because you are not that powerful you will fall quite easily and it's just uh, right 
fight into the action. There is no waiting. You are just slashing each other to the pieces. And you are playing like uh, Space Marines versus Chaos Marines. And I feel that that was nice. Uh, I feel that, that there could be more to it for sure. But as the first thing, like you, you are served with the release. I feel that's a good foundation. You you start working with the six versus six, and it just felt feel really nice. But yeah, that's all for today. My rant is over. I hope you enjoyed this video about Space Marine 2. Uh, if you like it, you can leave comment below what do you think about the Space Marine 2, if you are angry, if you are happy, if you are excited about the new changes that will come into the, in this year, because there will be season 2, uh, 1, 2 and 3 announced, and there are like more co-op missions, the, the continue of the story, and more customization, just more things for you to do. So that's kind of exciting. And if meanwhile, you can check more videos, you can click on them on, on the right side. There is one that uh, that I will be talking about Remnant 2. Yeah. So you can you can click on the renting video on Remnant 2 or you can click on this where I will be talking about the witch fire. So yeah, that that's kind of amazing. And if you feel fancy, you can click the subscribe button and you will not miss any other video. But that's it for today. Hope you enjoy this one and I will see you all next time. Peace.